What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the top of the map in the red color playing as Hades. His name is TSM Player. Wow, he's back. Look, look, it's TSM Player guys. I haven't seen him in five ever, but he's back and he's playing Scotty, just raw nosing it, just not caring at all. Let, let me just get some of that Scotty action into him. Jumping over here, we do have the uh, the blue color player who is in the bottom of the map, who is playing Poseidon, whose name is Scotty. The map is Anatolia. Yes, the map is Anatolia. Feeling fancy, fresh, feeling very, very much like a Scotty dock placement here. Uh, I, uh, maybe we need to find a different player to, to, to critique about this. We got this. We already have the Scardi gold mine where he puts it on this side, but right on these maps here, um, I'm gonna jump straight into some teaching here because I haven't done enough teaching today. Um, just after doing like I don't know six hours of piano tuition, doesn't matter. We are beyond it. We are past it. Fishing ships. They they need to be next to the drop-off site. Oh, Anatole, you have three fishing spots that spawn right next to each other. So the first dock you should place right on top of these fishing spots here. The second dock should be on the other ones. And then the third dock at some point, if you feel comfortable doing that, goes on the last one. Very, very good stuff indeed. As you can see, this is exactly what TSM Player does here. And that's... Uh, yeah, and that's the thing. So here we go. We'll see what the relics are. We've got the guide's book of knowledge. Generally speaking, for some reason on water maps, and I, I find it when in my own gameplay as well, you forget about the relics and you don't get them. Like we've got Ring of Nibelung here. Great relic. 18 free fa uh, free gold a minute, which is effectively like uh, maybe like a 0.2 um, villager on gold without pickaxe or something like a, a or something like that, maybe? Anyways, it's it's not a bad relic to pick up. I mean, it does increase your gold just a little bit. Um, anyways, Scardi doing his thing. I wouldn't be surprised to see Scardi just go straight for the uh, the standard Greek build order here. Where Actually, he's, yeah, straight for the standard Greek build order here. Basically, you put the first four villages on food, or there's a kind of a little bit of difference with Poseidon, but the general build order is four villages food, seven villages wood, one villager after that seventh villager comes over and builds a dock, as you can see, Scotty's already doing that. And then you put another three villagers onto wood and you get 10 villagers on wood. That allows you to get 18 fishing ships, get the temple down, you get an extra house down whenever they come out. Then you put after your 10 villagers on food, you put them over on, on sorry, after your 10 villagers on wood, put the rest onto food and you advance at, at 4.15. That is the goal. You should have all 18 fishing ships and feel very fancy, fresh indeed. Now, TSM player on the other hand, I wouldn't be surprised if he was a little bit out of the loop on this Rossi build here. order. Not because he he um forgot it or anything, but just because he is such a he, he, he comes up with his own stuff here. So I wouldn't be surprised if he comes in this. Maybe a little less hyper-efficient, but maybe a little bit more... Um, what, what's the word? Like, you, you have to kind of... You, you kind of get some guesswork out there for player. Like, he might not have the 18 fish, but he might go for something a little bit... A little bit spicy. A little bit Aries. A little bit Cyclops, maybe. Um, but we'll see how he goes or what he chooses to do here. Uh, Poseidon does have a slight edge on Anatolia for two reasons. The first is that he has access to Dionysus. So that means that he's going to be able to get Scala out in order to, to win a side of the water. You don't even have to get more than one. Just the one Scala really helps um, win that water fight if everything goes equally but the more important thing is that the middle of the map is super important in the mid game and the strongest unit in the mid game is the hippocon hippocon with spirited charge hippocon with thracian horses plus bronze on top of that now Hades, if they can get that gold mine and potentially secure this town center um, and goes Aphrodite or even um, Apollo, will have the edge late game. So Scardi's going to have to figure out how to hit that timing. He can potentially go um, for Aphrodite as well to make sure that his late game is okay, but I, I do feel like it's not quite as good as... Um, as the aforementioned Dionysus on Anatolia with the timing push behind it as well. Um, so we'll see what these guys are doing. The advanced time uh, 
Still, still not coming out for Scardy. This is really, really late. I think... Oh, Scardy's forgot to click advanced here. You can see he's on 99% villager there and he just forgot. If we check out player on the other hand, he is on, he's well on his way. Maybe a slightly late, it looks like, for a 520-ish maybe is the advanced time. Um, but still completely fine. And you can see he's short fishing ships over here, whereas Scardy's going to have... Oh, 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 I was... um. I, I, I thought this would be all... It's not. Anyways, build orders aside. Minotaur comes out for, for player here. Um, we'll see what he goes for. He's getting out his early Ajax. He's going to be moving over onto this side of his three docks. This may just be Scardy neglecting the fishing ships in favor of dock spam, which potentially actually isn't that bad of a, an idea. So I kind of take it all back. This may be a, a, an on-purpose play by Scardy because he did spend a lot of wood on those docks here. So really interesting play by Scardy. Uh, we've got TSM player spamming out the villagers. Uh, did he get his Persine? It is coming through. Scardy on the other hand, what is he doing? Still no Persine for him. He's still building his fishing ships out. We see the, uh, the Ajax and the Minotaur going to take this dock down very fast. Which basically forces out a trireme here in order for this fishing ship to, to have value. Um, and obviously the fishing ship can then jump into the dock to give some... Uh, some bonus. It's a very poor decision to get purse seen on this dock, but no problems. We do see the trireme forward here for TSM player going after some of these fishing ships of Scardi, who is currently housed. He has been watching too much Chrono JJ. We see the armory coming up here uh, for Scardi. So he's potentially going for a semi-fast heroic, if not a fast heroic here. There's the ceasefire from Scardi. Not a bad idea when you're getting harassed, but honestly, it's only a couple of trireme here and it's only a couple of fishing ship that are going to jump in. So I think he could have held on to that for just a little bit longer. We do see the trireme starting to pump out here for Scardi. Still a little bit slow. Only four villagers on the gold means that this heroic age is going to be delayed a little bit. We do have two villagers on the temple, which is definitely indicating to me that Scardi may potentially want to try and win the water with uh, more Skylar than he probably should want to do because... If you invest heavily into Scarlet, there is this technology which a lot of players forget about, but it's called the Heroic Fleet. It gives 150% ship damage versus myth units, and it does counter the Scarlet very, very easily. And, and, and it only costs 15 favors. So it only costs what a Scarlet costs. So in terms of favor, and and, and that and, and if you go for a fast rock, you basically give away that that's your idea. Um, so... I, I wouldn't be surprised if this Scala aggression here doesn't quite work. But here's the Dionysus. Still the two villages on this temple. We're getting the Triremes spamming into this dock, which I love. We just see the Centaur here with the Theseus trying to hit that Minotaur there. We see the Trireme popping out here for Scardi going straight onto players. Trireme, nothing happening down the bottom of the map. Checking out players' base. He's already got his own armory down as well. Will we be seeing him advance into the next? next stage. Yes, Aphrodite on the way for player as well is absolutely huge because he's going to be able to get out the Pentacontas uh, in order to defend against the Scarlet Spam that is coming his way. I wouldn't be surprised to see Heroic Fleet preemptively grabbed here just because you sort of know that with this amount of Trireme that this has to be a fast Heroic here from Scardi. But there it is. Dionysus comes through. He has access to Bronze. I would not recommend using Bronze on your war but there's the Skylar coming out of this dock here for Scardi. And there's the Apollo coming through for player. We do see the uh, the Trireme for Scardi being a little bit inefficient here. The uh, Ajax gets sniped down there by Scardi. And players actually lost his Minotaur, lost his Ajax. But the units are out here for TSM player. Does he go for arrow ship cladding? He does get Heroic Fleet out immediately in order to deal with the Skylar. And we'll see what player is going to be or what Scarlet is going to be doing I honestly what I would have preferred is one like if, if only one Skylar to force out some extra stuff from player and then the rest of that favor goes into spirited charge Thracian horses go for the the timing push with bronze on the land maybe get out some Prodromus as well uh, or, or maybe not um, doesn't matter because it would be incredibly strong here on this map but now we've got 
player ignoring the uh, of the navy of uh, Scardi for the time being, going after some of these fishing ships. Very easy to counter this by garrisoning inside of the docks. Still no arrow ship cladding for player. Still no stable. Still no archery range or anything. We've got the Chiron and the Nemean line out. We don't see anything for Scardi just yet, but he has sent this Scala forward and Pentecontes get the heroic um, fleet upgrade as well. So they already have 20 hack damage. Um, and then you get the the extra 150 is going to put them up to uh, 50 damage a shot or something crazy. And then Scala have like really low uh, hack armor, which means they that's why they do so much damage. And at this point, it's looking like player is going to clean house on the water here and Scardi looks like he may be going straight for the mythic gauge. Does he have a market down? No, but he's got a lot of resources in the back. There's the market. I do not know how I feel about this play. I don't mind the idea behind it. Instead of going for a second Townsend, you go for early Hephaestus, getting out of the early plenty vault. TSM player on the other hand, just a little bit short on the food to advance to the next stage, obviously short on the wood as well. Looking to grab this town center instead of going to the mythic gauge. This may bite him in the bum a little bit because you can easily take this town center down with Colossus. So we'll see if that becomes a thing. Obviously, the Plenty Vault helps out a ton because it's 10 villages instantly placed. Uh, but we'll see. Pentacontis here taking down the Trireme of Scardi. And Scardi's now out of all his fish. He's got one fishing ship currently grabbing here. These Trireme all falling. And, and player is just going to get in front here. He's just going to be in a really, really good position. Now we've got Scardi moving forward here with his villagers looking to take the middle of the map. There's the first stable. And I, I mean, there's probably still an opportunity to get a gold staff here for Scardi. So the amount of bonus economy that players got here kind of doesn't matter if player cannot get this gold mine here. If the if the uh, bronze push, if the if the uh, units are stronger, but they're throwing away units like the Hydra here for Scardi. This is looking incredibly difficult, but he suffices this on the way. He's going Artemis here. I, I, I mean, the idea, obviously, by Scardi is to get Chimera out, but if player simply just gets to the Mythic Age, he gets Perseus, and he shuts this down very, very easily. And this, this town center does not secure either gold mine, so I don't fully understand this this is a good timing though to get value out of the earthquake because no obviously no masons or architects or fortified town centers so that, and there's not many buildings here so it's going to kill every single one of these um Scotty might want to earthquake the hometown center but I, I wouldn't recommend doing that at this stage because he just rebuilds it it's like 700 resources instead um, but there we go. There's the Artemis. Pegasus running over here. There's the Earthquake. It's going to take down every one of these buildings here. At least it should. And there it goes. No restoration from player. You can... Oh, I guess the Pegasus was there, so it wasn't quite going to work. You can counter Earthquake with Restoration, but a really sort of nice innovation by Skyder to counter that. This Restoration is still available. It is. By leaving the Pegasus on top of the Town Center means the Town Center is not going to be... Um, idle because it's going to be shooting the pegasus so the restoration is not going to do the full 300 um hp per second restoring nice building placement here from tsm player throwing the storehouses down ghost building forcing this chimera away while the town center is going up the hero is all on top of this chimera doing a lot of damage here scardi is trying to build his chimera out he's got an extra one but this one is already falling very very flat we do see some prodromas and hippocon coming out at this stage but hades has got access to the uh sentinels got access to the hades shades has a lot of of easy ways to defend against any sort of push here. He needs to think about maybe a fortress right here just to make sure that this gold mine is secured. But player is sneaking this gold mine over here, which potentially Scardi is never going to know about. If we check out his fog of uh, his vision here, his fog of war, he, this gold mine does not look like a gold mine that player should go for, which is exactly why player is going for it now, and that's going to be absolutely huge for player here 
Now, villages. There we go. Fortress going up as well for player. So he's got 12 villages. That's enough to garrison inside for 10 of them. We do see that the Hippocon will check this out and will spot the fortress going up. So nice play from Scotty to notice that, but he's a little bit too late here as he's still trying to push in onto player's base. Everything needs to move over onto this location and take that down. We do see the Chimera looking for some raids here. If he can get a big villager kill, it will be absolutely huge for Scardi, but he needs to find where they are. We do see the villagers already garrisoning over here. Lots of population on this water here. Full player needs to get rid of those ASAP so that he can get all of his military units back. Now the Chimera coming in. He's got three Chimera here, but the Chimera can dodge very, very easily. There's only a Theseus here for Scardi, but that's not player. Player's got his, his heroes over here. Looks like the fortress will go down fairly quickly, especially with the help of those Chimera. The Chimera are one of the few late game myth units that don't have access to crush damage. So they aren't as good as like like the Hecagigantes or what's it like even a Lampade has crush damage. So they're, they're, they're okay, but we do, they're enough to take this down and now all these villagers die. So that's a good 12 villager kills there for Scardi. But player... He's got access to this town center as well. So all the economy in the world for player. And he's starting his trade route here. He's starting his trade route. I, I, I think I prefer like a double, if you're in this position, to throw down like three three uh, markets. And then after um, two minutes, you're going to have, or even two markets. And after, no, three markets. After, after two minutes of constant production from those markets, you will basically have... Um, 24 caravans which is enough to to support your uh your gold income for the rest of the game uh especially especially with the distance that they travel on anatolia uh, but we don't see him doing that only the one market here so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little bit longer more like six minutes to get all of those trade caravans out um and we'll see but now the the carrot the the chimera coming in sniping all of these units these are really really weak units here for player scardi getting some super value from the chimera we do have um scardi unfortunately having some of his uh, his hippocon over here idle on that dock and that's not the best but we do see the achilles getting sniped down here by the prodromus um and obviously scardi building these because he must be short on gold or something because they're definitely not uh, the best unit to be building at this stage in the game. But he is going for it. He, uh, he has found that this town center hasn't been grabbed. And Scotty still low on resources. Not able to get out his second and third town centers. Which is going to be the big problem for him. If he um, can't gold cut anytime soon. We do see the villagers here on this location. The special ability about to happen. And they all die. They all fall. One villager somehow manages to dodge the uh, the fiery uh, death there from uh, from those Chimera, but absolutely huge there by Chim uh, by by Scardi still staying in front. But with the town center advantage, four player with the trade route starting, all these villager kills do not matter as much as you might think, because he is continuously pumping those villagers out. He's got 40 villagers currently on food. Look at these farms. How are the upgrades looking? He's got only player. Might want to consider irrigation as soon as possible. It's not coming. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if it comes anytime soon. We do see the Hippocon taking out this dock over here, really reducing players' uh, players' efficiency on this side of the map. Meanwhile, player retaking this town center yet again. Where did the Chimera go? They're in the wrong spot. They need to be over here. Pick off these villages. We see Scardi's villages making their way over here in order to prevent this town center from coming up. The Chimera make their way over. Are they Chimera tyrants? No they are not. They definitely need to invest in that upgrade once you have th two of them, basically. After two Chimera, the upgrade will make them much, much stronger than a third one. But here's actually maybe after three. A oh, nice split here from player in order to dodge the uh, special ability there of the Chimera. But he will inevitably lose these villages that he did split away. The rest come back. But Scardi going to grab this town center for himself here. We do see the Prodromus for Scardi coming in to pick off more of the villages these chimera here picking off more of this stuff tsm player really really struggling at this point for uh any sort of gold control he needs to find his way to the mythic edge but at this point how is the trade route going 
The trade route is still, it's almost good. It's 16, so just a couple more, and he's going to find his gold starts skyrocketing here. Uh, he's got a good amount of food income as well, so then he'll be able to get to the Mythic Age. Then he'll be able to get Perseus. Then these Chimera are going to be very, very useless, and then the late game will start, uh, and we'll see if Scardi's economy can hold. He's finally got two town centers. We do see the Nemean Lion keeping an eye on this third town center over here. Um, the Achilles trying to chase down these units. Scardi casting bronze here on next to no units. I think that might have been a mouse slip because Scardi not full population here. We do see the fortress coming up. We have restoration coming in, but it's not enough to save those villages. Huge flaming breath there from Scardi player casts his restoration he will be able to hold on to these units over here but he needs something to deal with these chimera that are just completely munching on the hum human units of player and at this point there's Hephaestus for player absolutely huge his economy is going to be gigantic we'll see the immediate Perseus coming out for player as well in order to pick these chimera off and Scardi's chimera have basically formed with only two left and he does decide in that moment to tap out GG well played by player in order to deal with that Scala aggression like I said, building a couple of Skylar on the Titans, on the Vubly balance patch, just is not as good as it used to be. I'm pretty sure the Heroic Fleet, used to, you used to need to be in the Heroic Age yourself in order to research it. But in um, on, on the 4.0 patch, you can get it in the Classical Age. But moreover, uh, the more important thing is to get some very valuable units in the Hippocon uh, and make this push. I, I kind of feel like... Had Scardi done exactly what he did, except gone Hephaestus here, the, site, the, the Colossus would have been able to take down this fortress fine. But you would have been able to spend that favor on Thracian horses on Spirited Charge, and then he would have been able to be a little bit more efficient with his actual units. Respect These Chimera still got super man. value, so I don't, don't know if it would have worked out better, but I feel like he would have been potentially in a safer spot, especially with the Plenty Vault to give the, the added economy. Um... And the thing that was happening here with Scardi's um, Chimera, he was picking off a ton of villages, but because he was only one town center, player was effectively on four town centers, plus already with dock production. So him losing these villages, like losing 10 villages, you're like, wow, he lost 10 villages. But then you go, oh, he's got four, vill four town centers. In, with the market included, he is replacing those villages in two minutes, in, sorry, in 30 seconds or 45 seconds or something with interest. So he needs to get kill so many more to stay in front. Um, and he just was not able to do that. And player was able to hold on here and he gets the win starting the series off with a player victory. If you enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next game.